Hey folks, it's Grimwhip, and this is Mies Mata. What do we have here? Those were notes for an endurance emphasis drug that would permanently raise our endurance. And here's a handy dandy list of all the drugs available. Except for the cure, of course. That goes without saying. Hmm. Before I take a drink, I wish to map out this head. Get my head together. And there's one hidden off in the hills. Two heads are better than one. Up ahead is my favorite house. I'm guessing it was Herbert Goh's house. Oh, a hidden flower. I often miss that flower each time I play. I caught it the first time this time. If you've driven a car, you know that you don't really look out the side windows staring up ahead for any obstacles coming your way. It pays to stop and look around at this game. Hello. Thanks. Herbert's house? Some kind of colorful cow cat. You can never drink enough in this game. It's like when you're sick. That was a map and some notes about a glow-in-the-dark algae, which may be helpful for creating Agent Y of the Cure. Not the band. I don't know if Agent Y was part of the Cure, but in this game, it is. Hello. A second lab. This is a list of all of the plants that create a basic medicine. Wait, no, we, we have a research facility. Let's take a look at this thing. This flower enhances basic medicine to super medicine, which we don't need another what? Where did this rock come from? What? How did, how did I make a rock? Just get rid of that. There's nothing wrong with the engine. The flower that we tried to make into a medicine last time could have been used to make an anti-hallucinogen. Robert Hughes believes that anti-hallucinogens are useless, I suppose. Useless. Without use. For all he knows, this entire island is in a hallucination.
Here's something that I didn't know before. You can pick up a log. You can fight with a log. You can set fire to a log. It's wonderful. It rolls downstairs, single or in pairs. Runs over your neighbor's dog. It fits on your back. It's good for a snack. It's also sunset. And cow-cat paintings aside, it's almost 9 o'clock and time to rest. The different location doesn't change anything. The night is black as ink. You think they would have lit it up a little bit with some stars or have the moon have more of a lighting effect. Let's sleep in somebody else's bed this time. Good morning, everyone. It's a beautiful morning. Although, red sky at morning, sailor take warning. Here's our map with its addition. We're going to be following this blue path south and let it wind around. Once we make it to ruin site B, that's going to be as far as the game leads you by the nose. After that, it's all on your own. They leave it to your own mapping instincts and wanderlust. Speaking of wanderlust, Have I seen that head? Do I have that on my map? I do not. Back to the trail. Most good things in this game come from getting off of the trail and just wandering through the woods. Exploration heavy, as I've said over and over again. The game wants you to get lost. Literally. Hey, squirrel. This is very much like the woods outside my house when I was growing up. Fewer creeks, though. I come from Stillwater, Oklahoma, which is a forest town. Without the logging, there's a lot of trees there. Looks a lot like this. Because of the house with the painting and all of these trees in this particular texture of growth, I consider this place home. Although, my home didn't have one of these. But if you were an ancient civilization, and you had a path with an owl pointing out from it, would you wonder what the owl was looking at? gonna put this owl here pointing off in some random direction. No, 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 no. That owl's staring at something. Oh. Yeah, well, he's staring straight at these mushrooms.
if the mushrooms look familiar, it's because they were just in that page I was looking at on creating an emphasis drug. We're missing one more plant for that. And my wanderlust has taken hold of me. Whoa! There's nothing wrong with the engine. <laughs> As the reflections drop into place. That shallow. Oh no, 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 no swimming. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. No, no, I don't want to be in the water. Get out, get out, get out. Look, I don't know how easy it is to drown in this game. But I do know that until we get some strength enhancers or a stimulant for our strength or something, we cannot swim or anything. This kind of wanderlust is what keeps getting me lost. I just have to see what's around the next corner. Whoa. Okay, a little dangerous here, but just, just barely shallow enough for us to get through. That peninsula looks very familiar, as does that head. Wait a second. That's Outpost Vega, my home. Well, let's see if we can add it to the map. That's one house. The next one's going to be lower towards the shore. There we go. Now, if this isn't cheating cartography, I don't know what is. It's worth the cheat, though. We now have two heads that we can use for mapping later on. Excellent. There's no reason for you to see the complete backtrack. Let's get back to the mushrooms and back to the path. Thank you, Mr. Owl. That was most helpful. I have this Pavlovian response to that noise. Every time I hear it, even if I don't see the message telling me that I'm thirsty, I immediately think I need to take a drink. If you want to start your own drinking game, get yourself something very alcoholic, such as bourbon or turpentine, and then take a drink every time I take a drink. Did I say turpentine? I meant the tequila. Let's take this route. I'm not sure if this is the correct way, but, uh, yeah, what the heck. Okay, now I know this isn't the correct way. The similarity between each of these heads I think speaks not so much about them repeating the same statue over and over. There are some unique statues on this island. But it may say something about the ancient civilization that had once lived here.
Why do they need so many people to look over them? Oh yeah, those two. You can barely see them in the rain. And now I have two more heads, very high up. Very useful for later. We're still in the early stages of the game. I don't see anything else that isn't on the map. Well, that's enough of that. Let's try to get back to the path again. It's still early morning. We have time. Those woods that I explored when I was a kid, I don't think I ever did so during the rain. And here's Robert Hughes, sick, bare arms, we don't even know if he has a shirt. Out in the cold rain, or warm rain. I have to admit, I assumed that this was a tropical island. This feels like the path. Another example of missing a detail, whenever you're just going straight on, following the path, you get these blinders on. Gotta remember to stop and take in the scenery. There is no time li limit on this game that I know of. Let's add to this map. Okay, I, I don't know why I just skipped over that head. I must have mistaken it for something that was already on the map. No twigs. We'll get some and offer a tribute to the saving gods. This isn't the way back to the path. Uh, backtrack again. No, no, this is the way to Simi Creek. Whoa. I can slide down that. There we are. And there's the path. We were at the lowest part of the path. From now on, it climbs upwards. A wall. That's a good sign. We are going towards a ruined site. I spy with my little eye. Ruin Site B. Let's start by examining this mushroom. Sure. 
Sure enough, emphasis drug. I need to look at it again so I can take a proper screen cap. There we are. We'll just put that in our traveling inventory. And a note. From the scrawling handwriting, we can tell that this is Herbert Goose again. He seems to be losing his mind just a little bit more and leaving notes as warning to everybody else. I don't actually mean that if you pause it and read it. He's just losing his mind. Another entry from someone a little more sane, who was not Dr. Pendergraph. Pendergraph seems to be an associate, one of the leads to this expedition. In the note, they make mention of their hometown, city, state, whatever, nationality, that Callus had gained control of from the last episode. The name of their home seems to be called Tularic. I tried looking it up to see if it was some German town, and it doesn't seem to exist. Tularic, as near as I can tell, has something to do with electricity? Conductivity? Not certain. My hope was to find more of these ruins to explore. To my surprise, I looked down the cliff and saw something I forgot was on this part of the island. Yep. Perfect. While I search for this particular plant, I'd like to take mention of the former inhabitants of this island. Of all the ruined sites, there's something that makes me believe that this was the first structures to be built by the lost civilization. And I say that because of these pillars right here. They are in fact heads gods that look over the island and its inhabitants. But they're not like the other heads. And I don't think these kinds of structures appear in any other part of the map. Ah. Here's what I was looking for. Sponge-like mushrooms. More over there, but I don't want to risk falling off the cliff. So these heads, they make me think that a civilization came to Eden, planted themselves down in this place first, and said to themselves, you know what we need? Giant heads. Could be any number of reasons. But as they spread across the island, they got better and better at growing their heads out of the ground. It's subtle. I'll have to keep an eye out for these pillar-like heads as we play on, but I believe this is the only place they show up. This could have once been a castle. Or a communal home. A native hive. Don't want to fall too far. Ankles of glass, remember.
we'll examine this out and see what it's useful for. Huh. Negates type C poison. I wonder what we can use this for. Hmm. Not even near nightfall. Well, I believe this is going to be it for this episode. We've made a lot of progress, but we've come to the end of the maps that are handed to us. From here on out, we'll have to create our own maps or really really deviate from the path to find new ones. But next episode, we'll meet a new friend and we'll grab some of that algae. Whether we like it or not. Stay tranquil, everyone.